It is my first time in Turkey and so far so good. It's not my first time in Istanbul. I actually came here 10 years ago, almost to the day. And I only came to the European side. It's a little different than I remember it last. A little more security here, still as busy as ever. I mean, it's a little less so now with the COVID, but still quite busy. People definitely want to sell you things and talk to you in English. New, new we're from the US right away. Interesting. Um, didn't go to the Asian side last time, but it's nice to be back here around some of the most iconic monuments here in Istanbul. But I gotta say, Asian side, more or less. side of Istanbul and now we've come to the Europe side. And at the Asia side we've been eating Turkish food. It's time to eat some Asian food here the Europe side. So we came all the way to the Europe side of Istanbul just to have nasi lemak and more. We are about to have a Malaysian feast, the country that adopted us for a year and is very close to our home. We miss Malaysian food so much that the first order of Asian food here in Istanbul is Malaysian food. We have, of course, nasi lemak, the essentials. There's cucumber, there's fried egg, there is ikan bilis, peanuts, and the rice smells a little lemaki, fried egg, and of course, oops, sambal. And then we also have roti chennai. Mm, we're starving, we can't wait to have this. There's more food to come, but Greg will tell you more about it for now. Ooh, let's not forget about our tita rec. Tita rec smells delicious. Mm. Terima kasih. I feel like I'm back at the Mamak here in Malaysia. We have this beautiful tita rec. It arrived with a nice thick head of foam on it. it smells so good. I'm gonna take a sip of it first. As for kurang manis, less sweet, and it is perfectly kurang manis. It's got nice tea flavor, not too heavy on that condensed milk, it's delicious. And to pair perfectly with it, roti chanai. Oof, look at that roti. We have a little bowl of curry on the side. Curry has got such a nice flavor. It's got a little bit of spice, strong flavors in there. Turmeric, a little potato in here with that curry. It's got that nice turmeric, cumin, delicious, delicious flavor. That roti itself really tastes like Malaysia. This is on point. Mm. Miss Roti Chennai and Tetarik so much. So nice to have it here in Istanbul. Delicious. Great start to our meal already. What's great about this restaurant too is that just like in Malaysia, they have the sink in the dining room. And that's meant for one thing, eating with hands. And we have the dish that's perfectly eaten with hands and that is nasi lemak. We got it biasa, so we didn't get it on any sides. We got it all the classic elements of it. 
I tell you, when this sambal arrived on the Nasi Lemak, that one whiff brought me right back to Malaysia. I'm so excited. Of course, gonna try the nasi first in this Nasi Lemak. Ooh, I smell that coconut already. Mmm. It's got that nice coconut milk flavor, a little panda, a little thick lemongrass in there too. Very flavorful fruit. Now, gotta mix it all together. Samba, egg, peanut, a little ikan belis. It feels so good to be back in Malaysia, even if it's just for a few hours. Not even Malaysia proper in Istanbul. Mm. Really miss nasi lemak very much. Maybe more than every other Malaysian dish. I don't know, it's hard to say, but nasi lemak, definitely one of the most missed dishes. This one is quite good. Next, I just had a bite already, and it literally transported me back to Penang, where we had it the first time. Mm, it smells so good. This one is really caught my eye right away, is this kari kapala ikan, that's the fish head curry. So we haven't had it in a very long time. Even when we were last in Malaysia, and it looks wonderful. They cut the fish head in half. Looks like it looks like a red snapper at first glance. I don't know, it might even be salmon actually. Yeah, this looks this looks like salmon. Now that I cut it open. I'm a huge fan of salmon. Having it like this with the curry, because in Malaysia I've never had fish head curry with salmon before. Mm. The spices in that curry, you get really that cinnamon, that clove, it's really nice and creamy. And that salmon head is so soft and tender. The salmon in general is that very soft, kind of slight oily texture to it. It's just so good. Really happy with this one. It's gonna go great with this rice. It's really hard to narrow down what we wanted to eat here. The menu is huge. There's a lot of dishes that we miss and that we love from Malaysia, but we had to narrow it down to a few. And one of them is that we knew right away we had to order is this masak lemak chili padi. That's one of our favorite dishes in Malaysia. This beautiful yellow gravy with coconut milk and turmeric. We got it with a chicken leg, so it's a little different. It's not. This is not the salai, the smoked meat version that we're used to in Malaysia, but we're happy anyway because we love this gravy. Let's give it a try. Throw on some rice. Mm. We really get that turmeric flavor. Uh, a little bit of heat there, which is definitely, masak lemak always has that heat, the chili patty, but it's a little on the salty side, but still quite nice. Really, you gotta bungee it on that rice, blood it. You know what? I have to do it the proper way. I gotta eat it with my hands. Yeah, it just tastes better eating with hands. Turmeric flavor, very strong. Nice having the lemongrass really heavier on that turmeric. 